the time is now This is the moment The kingdom comes We're in your cash We pay another man I am Alarus Alabosulaba The place We're in your God You trust us with men And you know They have been a hand to God They shall find safety Alarosulaba Epalade The love Again in the church, oh God, Allah, 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 there be a narrative that changes in the church. Allah, be in Allah, Sula, Bakar. Yahweh, you are worthy 
of my pain. Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I know I can stand secure. Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I put my hope in your holy word. I put my hope in your hope. Jesus, Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I know I, know I can stand secure. Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I put my hope I put my hope in your holy word. I put my hope in your holy word. Jesus, Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I know, I know, I can stand secure. Jesus, Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I put my hope in your holy word. I put my hope in your holy word. I put my hope in your holy word. Put my hope in your holy one. I have a living hope. I have a living hope. I have a future. I have a future. God has a plan for me. God has a plan for and me. And all this I'm sure. Oh, all this I'm sure. I have a living hope. I have a living hope. I have a future. I have a future. And God has a plan for me. God has a plan for me. For this I'm sure. All this I'm sure. Your word is faithful. Your word is faithful. Mighty with power. Mighty with power. God has delivered me. God has delivered me. For this I'm sure. All this I'm sure. Your word is faithful. Your word is faithful. Mighty with power. Mighty with power. God has delivered me. God has delivered me. For this I'm sure. For this I'm true, Jesus. Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I know I can stand secure. Jesus, Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I put my hope in your holy word. 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 One more time. I have a living hope. I have I have a future. God has a plan for me. For this I'm sure. Shuffer on the sun. 
All of my life, in every season, you are still God. I have a reason to see. I have a reason. All of my life, all of my life, in every season, you are still God. At your throne we shall bring all the adoration because you deserve it, O Lord. All of my life, O God. No matter the season, no matter the tests, no matter the trials, O God, we shall still declare that you are our victory. That you are our victory. No matter the times, no matter the situation, no matter the circumstances, O God, we shall declare that you alone are God. We shall glorify your name. Father, we shall glorify your name. Come on, someone, glorify the name of the Lord. Lift the name of the Lord high. Lift the name of the Lord high. Glorify his name because he alone is God. He alone is the Savior. He alone is the Master, King of kings. And Lord of lords, we worship your name. We worship your name. We glorify your name. King of kings and Lord of lords. We glorify your name. And Father, we say that come. Come and glorify yourself. Even in your word. Father, you told Moses to go up on the mountain. And we saw a thick cloud of glory. 
think, Lord of glory. I think, Lord of glory. Oh, King of kings and Lord of lords. And you say that your name is Yahweh. You proclaim that your name is Yahweh. That the dimension of that name. Alikazia lantara debaya. Oh, God, likayante debaya. Glorify your name in a way that you alone will take all the glory. Glorify your name in a way that you alone will take all the glory.
you up above everything in our situation, O oh God. Everything in our lives, O oh God. Everything about our lives, O oh God. We raise you above it, O oh God. We raise you above, O oh God. And as we raise you up, O oh Lord, all these other things fade away, O oh Lord. They do fade away, O oh God, because they are sinking sand. You there are seeking sand, O oh God. Mukamu o singa budichimu aika waka. O singa budichimu mukama katonda wange. You are greater. You are better than everything that we might want to exalt in our lives, O oh God. Father, Lord God, jika la de kata yande. O li kata la di kaza dayala bakusa kata. You are beautiful beyond exception, Mukama. You are mighty beyond our imagination, O oh God. There is is no war that you have fought and you have not conquered, O oh God. You are great, Akatatatayada. You are great, O oh God, my God. You are better. You are beautiful. You are mighty, O oh God. Ikalapri Nakasa Kataya. The rose of Sharon. The bright morning star. The King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. The God of all gods. The Spirit of all spirits. There is no one other than you. There is no one other than you. We have not seen any, and we will never see any other like you. Arapata data kata yala ba, rikata la la ba ba si yala ba, rikata la 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 ba si yala ba. Oropotondo kosi yala ba. Everything, everything melts in your presence, O God. Even the mountains melt in your presence, O God. Epala da na kosi yala ba ba ha. Even the great bow down in your presence, O God. Akarasi kete kata, epende kosefri kata la brabra ba, epa la de kosi kata yala ba. Rivers give way at your presence, great seas give way at your presence, mountains give way at your presence. Ashana kusa kata yala ba, e rata tata tata tata, ike ni kusi yala ba, e rapa ziele kusa yala ba. Indeed, let all the other things fade away, O God. At your presence, O God. At your presence, O God. At the rapasi kata yalaba. Ela kosi yalaba. Allah da kosi kata yalaba. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The name that is above all names, the Lord that is above all lords, the God that is above all gods, the Spirit that is above all spirits. In that mighty name, we have prayed, we have worshipped, oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your praises. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your praises. We acknowledge you in this house. We acknowledge you in this assembly. There is no one like you, O oh God. There is no one like you, O oh God. We acknowledge your presence. Please do what you want to do in our lives. Please do lead us as you want to lead us, O oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Spirit of our Lord is here. He is here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He is here with us. In this powerful presence of God, could we have the children? Could we have the children? Could we have the children? Shalakosi kataya labasataya. Ayara tala 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 kata. Ashako setele karanea. Ea la batata rakosea. Ayara bakosea talada. Eh. Could we have the children, please? In his mighty presence, we shall pray for you. Father, Lord God, we commend these, the children you have given unto us. Father, Lord God, we separate this unto your works, O oh God. Father, these have stood in your presence at a young age, O oh God. Father, may they never forget what their eyes have seen. May they never take the things that are holy for granted, O oh God. Father, Lord, we pray, Lord, that this shall fight and they shall conquer in the mighty name of Jesus. That, Father, where, wherever their little footstep, O oh God, that they shall take over in the mighty name of Jesus. You will teach their hands how to walk. You will teach their fingers how to battle, O oh God. Father, Lord, you will guard their minds, O oh God. You will guard their minds, O oh God, even as they grow up in a world that is so infiltrated with so much, O oh God. Father, Lord God, Jesus, we thank you. This morning, we release them into your presence. We release them into their their church as they go to study father lord we pray that you will you will install wisdom in each one of them that father they will not remain the same when they leave their church oh god and when they step out oh lord they shall move in power they shall move in grace and they shall move in excellence in the mighty name of jesus we have prayed amen, amen. Let's do have our seats, please. Welcome back from the Promise Fellowship anniversary. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is that how you clap your people? It has been six days of power. Six days of great teaching. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, we do continue this week in power as well. We do have our lunch hours every single day of the week. That's Monday to, five, to Friday, 12.45 to 1.45 in this very place. Praise the Lord. And in the mornings, we have at 6.30 a.m., we have the morning glory in this very place. Praise the Lord. But if you are unable to make it, we have one online starting at 5 a.m. on the free conference call up. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Every Mondays we do have cells. If you do not have a cell, please ensure you get one in your location. And if there's none in your location, you are and you're able to host. We are welcoming as many hosts as we can receive in this season. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So do see any of the pastors and they will be able to help you how to start a cell. Amen. Uh, Tuesday and Fridays we have Bible study in the evening in this very location. Praise the Lord. Starting at 5 p.m. to about 7 or 7.30 p.m. Praise the Lord. As the Lord leads us. Praise the Lord. Amen. And um, Sundays we have our normal services. 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m., and 4 p.m. Hallelujah. Amen. And just to inform us all, do tell your neighbor the Virtuous Woman Conference is here yet again. Praise the Lord. For those of us who don't know what the Virtuous Woman Conference is, it's our annual women's conference. Praise the Lord. And we are informing you early so that you save off those dates. If you're planning a wedding, please don't. Okay, if you put it there, we shall not come. Praise the Lord. Okay, we will try. We will, we will try. Really, really try. Praise the Lord. And the dates have been set out. That's from the 26th to, to the 28th of April. Praise the Lord. We have told you early, plan, plan what? Ali, because we are always having big things and great things in stock for us. Praise the Lord. At this very point, could you rise up on our feet in much anticipation, much expectation? Ask your neighbor, are you ready for the word? Do you have a notebook? Do you have a pen? Have you prayed? Because anything can happen. Let's clap our hands as we call upon our pastor, Pastor Isaac, to take us off. Hallelujah. If you're clapping, clap for Jesus. With a smile. How can you clap for Jesus like this? You clap for Jesus with a smile. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please help me turn to someone and welcome them into the house of God. Turn to someone and welcome them. Tell them, welcome to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I really want to thank God for giving us this opportunity again to come in his presence together. Amen. Can we salute the pastors present? <laughs> Hallelujah. There's a lot that is happening that we'll soon let you know of. But in the meantime, we ask that you, you keep on praying. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us worship the Lord in one song before you go into the word. Mulisa wente ke chikere. Mulisa wente ke chikere. Mulisa wente ke chikere. Mulisa wente ke chikere Mulisa wente ke chikere Mulisa wente ke chikere Chimugambe Yesu mulisa wenteke chikere O kwe kusaba kwange chikere 
this morning you will not stumble in the darkness you will not fall as other people fall the Lord shall be a light unto you his word shall make things clear. His word shall enlighten. Make that prayer. Yes, undake kubo wengenda. Ndage kubo Jengeda Yesu ndage kubo Jengeda Yesu ndage kubo Jengeda Yesu ndage kubo Mulisa wente ke chikere. Bible says that 
His word is a lamp unto our feet. All of us are going somewhere and we need spiritual direction. We need spiritual enlightenment. The word of the Lord is a lamp unto your feet. It is light, light, light upon your path. With the word of God, you can be sure you will not lose your way. You will not lose your way. You will not lose your way. We will not lose our track. We see where we are and where we are going. Father, we ask even as we share in this word that it will be light for us in this particular time that you dispel every form of darkness and that you make clear the circumstances in which we are cause us to pick up speed by making clear decisions to the glory of your name in Jesus his name we pray amen, amen. Please have your seats in the presence of our God. Thank you. Can we appreciate the worship team? Thank you, worship team. Thank you very much. need to learn to rely or if I could say it in this way we need to rely more on his word all questions that you may have have their answers but some of those answers may not be as obvious as you may want them. God has already made himself clear on very many aspects, but that clarity is not obvious to the carnal man. When we give ourselves to the word of God, this is what the Bible says. You will then prove what is that good, that acceptable, that perfect will of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, when we get into the Word of God, do not just listen to a someone as part of the service i want you to listen like someone who is looking for instruction yeah listen as someone waiting for keys to give you access because god will speak at a certain moment in the someone and it's a specific word like you will get clarity yeah so be attentive be expectant whether it is in your personal devotion or it is in a service like this, God truly speaks. And those that are attentive and they hear will receive. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we're going to start in John chapter 15. We'll read from verses 13 up to verses 15. He says, Greater love has no man than this, 
that a man should lay down his life for his for his friends you are my friends if you do whatsoever i command you henceforth i call you not servants for the servant knows not what his lord does you hear that you hear that but i have called you friends for all things that i have heard of my father i have made known unto you i want us to read 15 again together henceforth read that again why the servant do you see that so what's the difference between a servant and a friend according to the Lord according to the Lord what's the difference between a servant and his friend his servants and his friends hmm? Someone is saying knowledge. knowledge. Eh? Say knowledge. knowledge. For the servant does not know what his Lord does. So, when a servant becomes a friend, will they take that position lightly? When a servant becomes a friend, when previously they have not been, you know, privileged enough to access certain information. But here they are, they have been elevated. They have knowledge. They will not take it lightly. So you have these servants that become friends are different from friends that don't know service. These men will not be entitled because they understand that it is a privilege. Right? It's a privilege for me to be, to be invited into the circle of decision. We take people for granted. Sometimes, even our friends, we take them for granted. It would be important for you to ask a question, who is this individual that I'm dealing with? Yeah? First of all, ask yourself, who is this person? Who is this man? Who is this woman? We don't want to reach a point where out of familiarity we lose that place of access. You get it? You get it? Because familiarity will breed in someone's heart contempt. Praise the Lord. Only if we understand that where we have been invited, we previously did not have access. But now, he says, I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father. I have made known unto you. So, these friends are made by, they have been made by, disclosure by communion by fellowship by perpetual conversations praise the lord you can make someone your friend by what you tell them and what you tell them and it has happened there are people definitely in your life you'll not tell everything 
then there are those who you have deliberately chosen to disclose certain aspects. Hallelujah. So, the moment you receive information about an individual or knowledge that you did not previously have, that knowledge brings you into their circle whether you, you want or you don't want. Therefore, the implication is you now become a custodian. You become responsible for things that normally you may not have had, you know, uh, responsibility over. Someone tells you some things, you are perhaps in a conversation, and all of a sudden you realize you are hearing things that you are not supposed to, to hear. You look around. And you realize this is high level high level things that information has given you access praise the Lord how do we then treat such kind of access trust we'll talk about trust as we continue so a very key thing about relationships is the quality of information that is shared information let me first call it information for now a genuine relationship in a genuine relationship and listen to me friends in a genuine relationships conversations are not superficial it's not surface talk yeah you go deep into issues it's real talk but if you're dealing with an acquaintance you will talk golekam but a friendship that is going to profit you hmm, is one that you're going to have to go a little deeper. Now, that presents an issue of vulnerability. The reason why many of us do not want to disclose is because we don't want to be vulnerable. I will be judged wrongly. I'll be perceived differently. But you cannot expect eh, to have the benefits of a real relationship if you're not going to make certain, certain sacrifices, like being vulnerable. Hmm? That is why it's supposed to be based on love, 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 love love yeah hallelujah james chapter 5 verses 16 james chapter 5 verses 16 help me read this scripture together one two again Mm. Read that again. Again. Now, this is the, the uncomfortable part of a real relationship. confession if our relationships don't have this then we are lacking 
confess your faults, not cover your faults. We are masters. Each one of us is a master of covering. We know how to play the part. But our relationships must result in healing. The friendships that you have must be a, a, a spring of healing. If you relate with me and I relate with you, there should be healing that springs forth out of this life. Our walk should result in both of us being whole. Where none of us is taking the other for, for granted. Oh, because I, I know you're dirty, I have an advantage over you. Huh? In a friendship, although one might be greater than the other, hmm? because there's also the aspect of, of, of ranking, but that the rank is not something that is, is, you know, is put forward to divide, to make a division, to say, oh, uh, how can, for example, how can I be a friend to my pastor? Ah, I fear the pastor. You can't be friends with that. How many of you are friends with the pastor? Temuli. Can't be a friend with a pastor. Okay, there are a few people. How many of you have a pastor friend? Okay, put it up here. You have a pastor friend. Oh, now the hands are. How many of you don't have a pastor friend? For you, every pastor, you're like, ah, I may come near and I also become one. And I, I don't want to risk. Eh? Birds of the same feather. Ah, I don't want to. I might be, end up marrying a pastor's. Eh? Eh? Listen, why shouldn't you be a friend to someone spiritual? That reason why you fear the pastor, you need to address the why. Because it may not be, it could be something else that is fearing to come. Praise the Lord. How many of you wouldn't want to be close to a rich Dude. Eh? Who? <laughs> Rachel. And Lillian. They want to be friends with poor people. They want to be friends with to poor people. The Bible says a rich man has many friends but a poor person even the few people that he has are taken away from him the aspect of rich there we need to expound it to not just money but anyone who is rich in any category of, 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 of you know of understanding yeah should attract friends. Why? Because you want to be my friend? Yeah, yeah, you can be my friend. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The poor is hated even... <laughs> For what reason? What reason would the neighbor hate his poor neighbor? But the rich has... I want us to come back to James 5, uh, 16. He says, confess your faults one to another. Pray for one another that you may be healed. Is, the question is, is your relationship a spring of healing? You've walked with me for two years, three years. Are you whole? You have this, you know, mfamfe, eh? taito, besti. 
for as long as you remember, are both of you whole? Oh, you are in a company of the hurting. Eh? Both of you are still hurting and you are nursing one another's wounds and that's how you are. The Bible says, if you confess to one another. So, this issue of confession is not one way. You don't confess to people who don't confess to you. Praise the Lord. It is to one another. Because you see, this is, it brings you at the same level. It means this individual or this group have acknowledged that they all have faults. Right? They have faults. They are lacking. Weaknesses. Confess them. Now, these particular faults are faults that someone has, they have been revealed because you have either wronged an individual, right? And you are owning up. But it's because of the fault in me that I have done this, right? That it's because I... I am impatient that I have spoken in this way. Pray for me. I want healing. I want to be whole. Praise the Lord. Many of the prayer requests that we have are requests for miracles, right? Breakthrough. So we approach friends to only pray for us when we are. We are looking for a miracle. How many of us approach friends truly because we are false and we want to be healed in those areas? Okay. There are some hands. Praise the Lord that you may be healed. Now, it also says confession does not go alone. Confession must be followed by prayer. You don't confess just for, I am, uh, how do they say? I am easing. I am just letting go of the burden and feeling lighter. No, this is not about feeling lighter, right? This is about getting healed, finding healing. It's not about becoming lighter. If you're struggling, you know, with sexual sin or with lust. How do you deal with it? If it's pride, how do you deal with it? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, after confession, there should be prayer. And I encourage that this prayer eh, should be prayer in understanding. Praise the Lord. I'm not saying you don't pray in the spirit, but it should be prayer that each one of you can hear. crying for mercy from God. Praise the Lord. The if effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much power. You see, it's in connection with healing. Confession and with healing. Praise the Lord. So, if we are uncomfortable confessing, then when it comes to sharing victories, testimonies, triumphs, then there will also be an issue. You get it? 
if we only know you you know this is what bishop says he says he does not trust men who do not limp limping you know from that aspect of jacob when he wrestled with an angel until the angel touched his eh? his bone i know it in luganda eh? mbala kaso hip you can imagine you wrestle with someone the whole night and it just touches you and the bone moves so who is stronger but jacob had refused so when his bone moved he started to limp all his entire life like that encounter did not leave him the same and that was a reminder that i was with god wrestled and he touched me it is not it is not perfection eh? it is not the, the display of perfection that will you know endear us and open us to people on the other actually no, on the contrary it is not when you choose to be vulnerable to the right people there will be healing praise the lord now i'm not saying you go out and you be vulnerable to anyone and everyone there are people who are malicious and they are waiting for the opportunity to do you harm so you need to have discretion but we're talking about a relationship a godly relationship yeah so if you have been hurt previously and you have trust issues you need to confess you hear me you need to confess if you have such a kind of experience come to a pastor and confess and receive prayer let there be prayer made for you so that you may receive healing because if you are dealing with trust issues you don't have trust either towards men or towards women or towards pastors or towards people in authority it's going to affect you it's going to affect you or oh, it has already started to affect you mm. praise the lord proverbs chapter 27 verses 17 how does it read Again? Praise the Lord. Iron sharpens. So a man sharpens. Someone says sharpen. Our relationship needs to be sharpening. You need someone who is going to keep you on the cutting edge cutting edge not comfortable but cutting edge hmm? the scripture says a man's uh -huh, a man sharpens the countenance the countenance is the appearance of his friend look at your neighbor how someone looks at you should sharpen you even this scripture eh, simply means if you spend time with someone spending time just spending time in the presence of someone 
sharp. You should also be sharp. Just by spending time. If that individual is a prayerful individual, just by spending time with someone prayerful, you should become prayerful. But if we become your friends when we were prayerful, and then someone eh, reduces, who should influence the other? The prayerful person or the Huh? Who should influence the other? The prayerful person or the... Praise the Lord. Have you had your fire quenched out? In a relationship? Have you ever had your fire quenched out? What happened? We thought fire was infectious. Huh? Eh? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Listen to me. Listen to me. If you are prayerful and everyone around you is prayerless, you become prayerless. Yes. You should be at least two prayerful people among a company of prayerless people. Praise the Lord. If in your company there is no one who loves reading the word, you also will not read the word. There should be at least one person who stirs you up, who encourages you, who builds you up. Just one person. The rule is you should be at least two people. You don't need a crowd, just two. That's how God has ordained it. That's the binary principle. At least two people should be able to walk together. So you can be two people and you will walk against the multitude and you stand. It says two are better than one. If one falls, the other, yes. Let none of us think we can stand on our own. Praise the Lord. So my question is, please ask your neighbor, who is holding you accountable? Who is holding you accountable? Ask them. Who is asking you the difficult questions? Sabbath, come and sit here. Sing your neighbor. Please ask on the left and on the right. Who is asking you the difficult questions? Praise the Lord. So, Conversation should not only be about ice cream. There are those ice cream conversations eh, that are nice and feel good and you're like, oh, this is the best person. And then there are those where there are surgery. Where you look at this one and say, you look at someone you're like, they should not be my friend. Because they're actually holding you to, to account. Praise the Lord. Iron sharpens. So a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. This also means you should be able to look in the other's eyes, your fellow's eyes, without fear. There are people who we fear. Ah, that one. I'm their friend, but... 
Praise the Lord. I'm their friend, but I will not address that issue. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. You should have someone who does not fear your face. I know each one of us has a scary face to someone. But have someone who can look you in the eyes and tell you, Pastor Anthony, this is it. So, eh. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Do you have such a person? Yeah. You have such a person? Yes. Does everyone have such a person? Who does not fear your face, even when you twist it? Yeah. Even when you switch off your phone, they will come and knock at your door. Yes. Say, you've not picked my phones, but I'm here. How are you doing? Yes. Those things have not come into church. Yeah. Eh? Do you have someone like that? Yes. Who can pull you out of your bed? Say, get serious. It's time to work. This is the way of making money. Hmm? Do you have someone like that? Who tells you to work? The yes, Zik ended there. We have many people who encourage us to eat our money, but very few who tell us to make it. You'll have people who will organize party after. This weekend we are there. By the way, plan, book. Next month we are. End of year we have a what? We even have to go out, trip. We need to eat our money. And you ask yourself, yes, but how are we making this money that we are eating? Praise the Lord. Friendships ought to sharpen us. Hallelujah. Friendships ought to sharpen us. You should become more formidable, more vigilant, more effective, more alert. when you interact with someone. More formidable. So in as much as we enjoy people's company, we have that, you know, uh, good side, there should also be times when we are literally, you know, holding one another accountable, the things that we have to do. Proverbs chapter 27, still, I think we'll read verses, yes, 9. <clears throat> Just a moment. Okay. Together we read. Ointment and perfume rejoice the heart. So does the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel. Praise the Lord. Now, for many of us, our friends are our counselors. Huh? Someone who you come to, you approach when you need counsel, advice. Now, if you have anyone who comes to you for counsel, the Bible is telling us that anointing, someone say anointing, and perfume rejoices the heart. He says, in the same way, anyone who Cancels from their heart. Anyone who speaks advice from their soul will also release a sweetness 
to the other individual in, in the message. Give us the message. Let's read the message. Just as lotions and fragrance gives sensual delight a sweet, refreshes. Hallelujah. So, how does my conversation, my advice, carry weight? Number one, I should not cancel on things I don't understand. Just because you are my friend does not mean you know what I'm going through. Praise the Lord. Do you all admit that? That there are things that your friend will go through and you have not experienced them. Be humble enough and say, I don't understand. All I can do is pray for you. It is like a single friend who has a married friend and the married friend has a marital issue and brings the marital issue to a single and the single friend says, I under. <laughs> From where? From the books. <laughs> you understand by the books. Okay, you also get married by the books. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. People, understand, when, when, when someone comes to you with an issue above your pay grade, refer. It is doctors who understand these things called referral. We have the referral hospital. There are doctors in the other parts of the country eh, who treat and just do first aid and say why you you are going to die here go to the referral we should also have that referral system if a friend comes to you with an issue that is big please don't feel like you now you have the opportunity to experiment you're not experimenting this is someone's Issues to do with marriage. In this church, we have a, a structure that handles the marriage. You refer. Even if it is a friend who is not in church and they're, they're having a marital issue. Do not, because you see, if you're not yet married and you start to. Eh? In Uganda, Chirishtia, Okuyikiriza, Okwepanka, eh? You enter into things that you don't understand. Do you know what you're doing? You're setting yourself up. You're setting yourself up. So, do yourself a favor. They are your friends. And because they are your friends, you love them. Tell them, I cannot handle this. All I can do is pray. But if it's advice, if it's someone to speak to you, I know that there is someone who can help you. Be that good friend that carries them and brings them to church and hand them over and say, Pastor, my friend needs help. Praise the Lord. So, speaking about that, you don't cancel out of your experience. Number two, you don't cancel. Hmm? Outside the cancel of the word. So, there are things that you have not experienced, but the word of God is, has expressed clearly. God has expressed his mind concerning them. Do not be unequally yoked. So, do not seek to please someone who is outrightly against the counsel of the word. Praise the Lord. Your counsel will have weight if it is thought through. 
praise the Lord. Thought, it should be thoughtful counsel. These things of just coming and say, uh, I'm dealing with this. And then it's like, for you have answers by the switch. You have a switch where you just stop and you can see everything, know everything. If you are not prepared to answer, tell them, I will get back. Let me pray about this issue. Give me some time to think about it. Let me, you know, contemplate on this matter. Let me just, it should be thorough because you're dealing with someone's life. Think about what you're about to say, especially if you're speaking into someone's life. If you've inquired from the Lord, if you've thought about it and it's not making sense, come back to a person and say, I think we need to ask someone to help us on this. Hallelujah. We'll finish with John, 1 John chapter 1, verse 7. I, I love this scripture because it teaches us to walk in the light. Hmm? We need to walk in in the light. Bring your relationship in, subject it to the such light of God. Walk in the light. What does this mean? You are building a relationship on integrity. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with where? In the light. Let your fellowships and your friendships be in the light. Tobeda muma kona. You understand when I say that? Like, when someone sees you, be as clear. Do not be a different person on Sunday, another on Tuesday, Monday. Don't be a different person when you are at church, but when you go back home, establish that place of being integral, single, and base your relationships on truth. Truth. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, we walk in the light and we have fellowship with one another. The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all from all sin so we need to walk in the light hallelujah hallelujah we need to walk in the in the light that's why we need to fellowship in the light Do not allow someone to pull you in darkness. Praise the Lord. Sisters, do not allow someone to tell you, we will not tell the pastor. Do not tell bishop. Ask yourself, why are they not? I have a sad story to tell. About a brother. He's no longer in church. Who started talking like that to a sister? Until. Someone say until. 
he made an extra biblical proposal. Which is, sister, me, I don't believe those things of coming to church to be wedded. We can become wedded under the tree here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Extra biblical. So, sister, you need to be clear from, from the beginning. You are walking in that. Because it will save you. It's better for you to be safe. And for us to come and rescue something that is going to require you know to recover someone who has been destroyed is not easy. Hallelujah. Let's have a minute to share what we've learned as we close the service. What? I come. Some people are not talking to one another. He says, Mugambwa, you have a neighbor, but you are not talking. At least get to know them by name.
Hallelujah. I want to close the service. I hope each one has had an opportunity to share some reflections. You see, there are certain things that we need to sort. As brethren, we shouldn't have people who are not who are who are lacking food or shelter among us. We shouldn't have people who are who are unemployed among us. We should make it our goal to ensure that all our, all our friends are at the same level we are. We strive to bring them there. Some of us have opportunities, and you are, if not, you are able to open doors for others. So, for me, this is a call. This is a call. If it comes to your attention of a brother who needs a hand and you can open a door, you can make a call, do it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And also have friends who tell you when are you getting married. Hey. You've been you've been believing, believing what's the problem? Aren't you seeing? You come for me, I'll help you see. Have a friend who can recommend someone. Say, this one is good. That one is good. Let us believe God. But for you, all your friends are just closing their eyes to see in the spirit. No. You don't see a wife in the spirit. You see them with your eyes. Brothers. The problem is, and by the way, even after you found, you need friends who can endorse your decision. Praise the Lord. Isn't it? Pastor Simon, isn't it? You need a friend who you, you say, ah, I have seen this one. How are they? Say, ha. Totomera. <laughs> oh, they tell you, ha, Otevye. Let us let us pray. You, you understand? Hey. Hallelujah. Hold hands and let us pray together. Hold hands with the person you have shared with. And pray. Pray for them. In the name of Jesus. The Bible speaks of healing that flows when we confess, when we pray. If there are any wounds that were caused by previous relationships or encounters and experiences, We ask that in the name of Jesus this morning that they will be addressed by the Spirit of God. I pray, Father, that by your Spirit you will operate in each one of us and make us friends that are consistent, reliable, true, genuine, 
in the name of Jesus. We pray for a spirit of discernment that we will know when there is hurting in our midst, that we will understand and inquire how to correctly respond to the brethren. I ask that you will bind us, O God, with cords of love that cannot be broken. I pray that if there was any bitterness caused by offense, misunderstandings, or any sort of thing, I pray that they will be resolved today in the name of our Lord. Father, we thank you because you are raising us up. You are elevating us as a people. We thank you for the vital connections that are in this place. We thank you for your life that flows from one end of this sanctuary to the other. We thank you for the mutual life, the mutual connections that are being made. We don't take one another for granted because you know, we know that you are in our midst and you are mighty. We thank you, Lord, and we bless you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Everyone say it. Amen. 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 Take a moment and thank your neighbor for praying with you. Yeah? Thank you for praying with me. Let's do it again. Yeah? Let us make our declaration and then we give. Let me ask that we stand. As we've been sitting for a while, let's stand. Make the declaration and give. Together, let us declare as we thank God and better businesses, jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, benefits, sales and commissions, favorable settlements, estates and inheritances, interests and income, money in our phones, purses, pockets, wallets, safes, bags, gifts and surprises, a debt free life expenses decrease blessings increase great ideas to make wealth thank you lord for meeting all my needs that i may have more than enough to be a blessing to others to give into the kingdom of god and to promote the gospel hallelujah 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 amen so come with a cheerful heart and give generously may it be as you have declared in the name of our Lord Amen Alas and did my Savior bleed and did my sovereign die would he that sacred head for sin I search as I at the cross at the cross where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away it was there by I receive my sight and now I am the queen of the day. All right. As
let it be your love. So as you please, yeah. Let it be your love. Yeah. Mm-hmm.